Welcome to Wal Brown's Pharmacy. How can I help you? I need my prescription. Okay, what is the last name? Zamboni. Hmm. I don't see anything ready. What's the date of birth? Rachel. No ma'am. The date of birth. 123 West Main Street. The date your mother gave birth to you that is on your birth certificate and driver's license. I was adopted, you jerk. How dare you ask me something like that. I just need this prescription filled. For God's sakes, will you need my kidney, too? I'm sorry to upset you, but it is necessary to have your date of birth to find your prescription. If you don't know details of your own identity, I will not be able to help you. Fine. September 5th, 1979. Thank you. Hmm. I can't seem to find anything ready. When did you drop off the prescription? I'm dropping it off now, you moron. It's in my pocket. Please do not call me a moron. You are the one standing underneath a sign as big as your body that says, Pick up window on it. This window is for people to pick up prescriptions that are ready because they have already visited the drop off window where you apparently have not been. You jerk. You could have told me that 10 minutes ago. I need this now. I'm in a lot of pain. I was in the emergency room for six hours. Name calling is not necessary, ma'am. And it will not get your prescription filled any faster. In fact, it will usually take longer in that case. However, if you would like to give it to me now, I will put you in as waiting and get it ready as quickly as I can. Fine. I will wait here while you put five pills into a bottle. How long will it be? 30? 45 seconds? I'm afraid it will take a little longer than that. There are many steps in the prescription filling process. I will call you as soon as I get it ready. You ass clown. The doctor told me you would have it ready right away. Hurry up. I am in a lot of pain here. I will wait over there by that large display of disposable douches. Wait just a minute. Mrs. Zamboni, this prescription you gave me for our tab from the emergency room says that you should have two more prescriptions. Where are the others? I will need them as well. They are in my pocket. I do not need those. I only need the lower tab. I am in pain. I'm sorry Mrs. Zamboni, but emergency room policy is you must fill all prescriptions or none at all. We follow this policy strictly to prevent drug abusers from going to the ER just to get narcotics. Are you calling me a drug addict? How dare you? I don't even know what Lortab is. I've never taken a pain pill in my life. But fine. Here are the other prescriptions. Thank you. Okay I see you have a prescription for some amoxicillin for infection and ibuprofen for fever. I'm sure your throat is very sore. I will work on getting this excessively unnecessary narcotic pain medicine filled for your sinusitis and sore throat. You may wait over there by the large douchebag display. Fine, but hurry up. I am in a lot of pain. Miss Zamboni, your insurance is saying you filled other narcotics two days ago at QVC Pharmacy across town. I thought you said you have not taken pain pills before. Your computer is wrong. Check it again. I only use Well Browns for my prescriptions. What the computer tells me will not change, no matter how much you think you may understand about how to do my job. According to your insurance, you got 240 tablets of oxycodone 30 milligrams written by a pain management doctor two days ago at QVC Pharmacy. Is that not accurate? No. I have no idea what you are talking about. That is wrong. Oh my. Well then it appears someone must be committing insurance fraud under your name and identity. I will be glad to contact the appropriate authorities and get an investigation started for you, since you say it was not you who filled that at QVC. Hmm. Wait a second. Now that I think of it, I did go to QVC Pharmacy two days ago. I forgot all about it. That is for my back pain. I have chronic low back pain. I've been on it for years. I see. Well, I won't be able to fill this prescription for 5 low tab 5 mg tablets due to your extremely high dose and most likely unnecessary and illegitimate prescription for oxycodone. I will just pay cash for it. I am in a lot of pain. My throat is very sore. I take the oxys for my back pain. 
I need the hydros for my throat. I'm sorry, but I have already spoken with the emergency room physician that you saw. He was unaware of your narcotics from your pain management doctor and he cancelled that prescription. The 8 tablets you take daily of oxycodone 30 mg plus the prescription I am able to fill for ibuprofen should be sufficient to treat your sore throat. If not, I recommend warm salt water burgles or some chloraseptic throat spray. You was shawl. I am never coming here again. I told the doctor everything I take. Now I will have to suffer because of you. If I have to go to the hospital again because you wouldn't fill my prescription, I will sue you in the head of World Browns. I'd like to see you try ma'am. Surely that sore throat of yours is painful. I would like to be there when you go back to the emergency room to see the same physician who you just saw who I spoke with on the phone. Would you like me to bring you out on the register for your amoxicillin and ibuprofen? Even though someone, including myself is technically paying for them, they are no charge to you since you have Medicaid. No. I don't need those. I'll just take a 96 count box of Sudafed. Actually, I'll take two. We don't have that in stock Miss Zamboni. Fine, what about the 12 hour Sudafed? We don't have that either. We only carry antihistamine to congestant combination products at this time. Great. Well what about that green box on that second shelf? I'll take two of those and a large bottle of peroxide. That medicine works great for allergy symptoms, however not so great for cooking up meth. Are you sure you want to buy it? Meth? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, I will just go get my Sudafed over at QVC. They always have what I need. Besides, I have a prescription at home for OxyContin filled and I know they have the OCs. You guys only have the OPs. I'm never coming back here. I don't do business with rude people. Hmm. I can surely imagine the kind of people who you do do business with. Besides, I agree wholeheartedly Miss Zamboni. I don't like doing business with rude people either, that's why I am glad you are leaving. Have a nice evening. All in a late Saturday night's work at Wall Browns.